Randall's Selfie Style HVAC Training Videos presents this Tech Tip video with Technical Trainer Randall S. Ripley. Setting up the Goodman and Amana Bluetooth Communicating Furnaces to operate non-communicating outdoor condensers and heat pumps. When the new Comfort Bridge Communicating Bluetooth Furnaces are matched with communicating outdoor condensers and heat pumps, the furnace will find the outdoor unit and automatically configure it. When the outdoor unit is a non-communicating AC or heat pump, it can't identify itself to the furnace, so the furnace assumes there is no outdoor unit. The furnace will run fine in the gas heating mode, but when there is a call for cooling on an AC or a call for cooling or heat on a heat pump unit, nothing will happen. Until the technician tells the furnace in one of two ways what the outdoor unit is and how much airflow is needed. Either of these two methods will allow the technician to set up and or check any menu options on the furnace. This list of menu options with the explanations can be found in your I&O manual. The preferred way is the Cool Cloud HVAC app. Download the Cool Cloud HVAC app to your phone or tablet. It can be found uh, at the Apple Store or the Google Play for Android. Create an account to get started. Log in where you have a cell signal or Wi-Fi connectivity. The other method is to use the left center right push buttons below the three seven segment LED lights. The left button is for scrolling backwards. The right button is for scrolling forward. The center button is for selecting. Keep in mind, 400 CFM of airflow per ton of air conditioning is sufficient for most AC applications. Up to 450 CFM of airflow per ton for heat pumps may be needed. Airflow charts can be found in the I&O manuals. Since it is necessary to have power to the board, but the blower access door has to be removed, you will need something to hold the door switch closed. For me, it's my magnetic stud finder. This is the best tool for holding the door switch closed that I have ever found. Now let's move over to the demonstration furnace. All right, here we are setting in front of a GM VM 97 BA revision Bluetooth furnace. Uh, and we're going to go through the uh, non-communicating outdoor unit setup. In order to do this, we have to be in the idle mode. And you have to have something holding your door switch. I have my little magnet holder on there. Uh, so we're at idle and there can't be any call on the thermostat. Uh, the three uh, seven segment LED boards, sometimes the codes look a little funky. Uh, but these ones are pretty straightforward. So from our idle mode, uh, we uh, uh, probably I should explain the buttons. The left and the right buttons of the three that you see in the, in the video, the, the left, the, the center and the right, the left and right are scrolls and the center is selection. So we need to set up this non-communicating -communi unit. So first we need to scroll until we find ODS. And see, you can see, that's why I uh, promote the app so much because, you know, scrolling around takes a few seconds there. So we select ODS and we notice that the default is off. But we're going to scroll right until we see what we have. You have choices of a single stage, a non-communicating outdoor unit, a single stage heat pump non-communicating outdoor, a two stage uh, non-communicating outdoor, AC and a two-stage heat pump non-communicating outdoor. 
For our purposes today, we're going to say it's a single stage, non-communicating outdoor unit. We're going to press the center button twice. Now we're back to ODS. So now we'll keep scrolling. We're looking for ton. And as you see, that's ton on the menu. We select that. This unit has been set up before. It's a demonstration unit. Uh, we say it defaults to 6.0, and you can set it to whatever you want. We'll say for today's purposes, we got a four-ton unit. We'll just start scrolling up because you notice it's only in uh, 0.1 segments it goes up. So, again, the scrolling uh, can be a pain. Uh, that's why I promote the app, but I am just doing this for those of you that don't want to use the app. Uh, which is okay with me, uh, and there's your uh, 4.0 uh, for four tons. We're going to hit the center button, and now we're back to ton. Now we can hit any two buttons. I'll hit the le left and center, and we're back to idle. That's uh, pretty much uh, the easy way to do it, um, and that will set up your outdoor air communicating unit. Uh, you will have to use the uh, uh, airflow chart. I apologize for the phone ringing interruptions. Uh, normally I make sure my phone is off, but boy, I guess I missed that one today. Thanks for watching. Um, you can watch all of the, the tech videos at the address there in the link. Uh, notice the name of the channel will be changing. If you like the channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Until next time.